In today's video, I'm going to be covering my advice for short guys and essentially how you can feel confident about yourself, feel good about yourself as a shorter man. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I put a thread out on Twitter not too long ago talking about um, the 10 steps that I would give for guys that are shorter to improve their confidence and feel good about themselves. And it got some good feedback too from, from guys that are on Twitter and things like that. And I feel like it's a very popular topic, especially in the space and something that I want to cover in more depth on this video now for a bit of background i'm five foot seven and i live in the uk the western world so for the environment that i live in you could say five foot seven is quite short okay i know if you live in latin america or no you live in asia then i would be considered tall you know i get that uh, right but i don't so um guys that are around my height or shorter you know you may feel certain insecurity for being short okay and this is exactly how i felt when i was in my early 20s and kind of my my late teens okay um i felt like because i was on the short side i just wasn't confident enough to date the girls i wanted i wasn't confident enough to build the network i wanted and i just didn't feel good about myself which when you don't feel good about yourself that has a negative impact on you know the rest of your life now for the last five years i've actually kind of changed the way i look at things developed a lot of other areas of my life and as the same five foot seven guy, I've been able to build a successful business. I've been able to date girls of much higher quality and girls that are actually taller than me as well and build a great network of friends and people um, through my networks, right? So I want to talk today about the, a little bit into those 10 steps and um, you know how you can actually feel good about yourself as a shorter guy, as a short guy himself that has been through the insecurities and the negative emotions and feelings that... Um, have happened the first thing that we need to to focus on is to accept what you cannot change okay this is vital because unless you're getting your kneecaps done unless you're getting your torso extended okay you're never going to be taller and you're never going to be bigger okay you're not going to be six foot you're not going to be six three it's never going to happen okay you need to nail this into your head very quickly now once you do that you're actually going to stop expending energy on something that you can't change and this goes for anything that you can't change in life you need to play the cards that you're dealt okay and once you accept that you can then put your energy into a lot more things okay and that's gonna then improve your confidence when you don't own it and you don't accept it what happens is you are carrying like a weight on your shoulder in which you know you feel you can't get rid of and this weighs you down for everything that you do the interactions you that you have with people and things like that so the number one thing you need to do is accept what you can't change now the second step that you need to focus on is to own it okay you need to own the fact that you are the height that you are whether that be five three five four five seven whatever it is and once you own it it's actually never going to be a problem for anybody else so I realized this when I started dating girls that were taller than me. Um, not too tall, but they were probably 5'7", then in heels they'd be taller than me too. Now, I actually just owned the fact that I was shorter, right? I, I would just not care. I'd walk around like I was 6'3", okay? That's just the way that I, I kind of did things. And when I started doing that, there was never an issue from these girls I was dating. They never cared about my height because they weren't there for my height, right? They were dating me for other reasons apart from my height and that's the thing that you need to remember is there's so much more to you than just the height and when you don't care about it funnily enough other people don't give a shit as well okay so it only becomes an issue if you think it's an issue so you need to own it and that's going to remove a lot of the problems that you have now the third thing that you really need to focus on and my advice would be is to get in shape okay if you can't be longer than other people you can be wider you can be more muscular and things like that and if you follow me for a while you know this is something that i've been building for years right for the past 10 years i've been building my physique a good physique it shows discipline it shows dedication okay and you know it puts a lot of other people to shame right if you're in shape and other people aren't that's your advantage so if you can't you know be tall you can be wide and you can be strong and you can be physically attractive and people will always respect you for that okay no matter how tall you are they will always respect you for being in good shape and another bit that i want to add to this is actually learn a combat sport as well okay this is great because not only can you be in great shape but if you know how to defend yourself you know how to fight and you kind of have that you know animalistic side to you as a shorter guy people aren't going to want to mess with you man and again it adds to the respect that you have so you know take up a boxing class do krav maga uh, kickboxing whatever it is and learn to be hard to kill as well and, and be physically competent in both a strength aspect but also from a fighting aspect too if you can do both of those things that's really going to boost your confidence in who you are and gain respect from other people now the next thing you need to focus on is your dress sense okay and to dress well 
So there's no excuse as a short guy to be dressed really badly, okay? Actually, as any guy, there's no excuse, okay? You need to ensure that you're wearing like fitted clothes and things like that. Make sure the outfits on your color match and get to the point where you have kind of your own style, okay? Like for me, you've probably seen in my videos, I like to wear floral and like these loud shirts, okay? Because it's the style that I choose to adopt. And again, I own that style and that's what I feel is what I enjoy. So, you know, you don't have to always wear designer clothes. You don't have to splash out on really expensive labels, okay? Can do if you want to, right? But, you know, just make sure the clothes are of high quality, they're fitted, the colors match, um, and they complement, you know, your, your body type, right? And there's a shorter guy, oversized and baggy stuff just really isn't going to work, in my opinion. Um, you need the stuff that's tailored, that's fitted and things like that, um, because that's really going to suit kind of your body type and who you are. Now, the next thing that you need to focus on is to fix your posture, okay? I see a lot of guys walking around like this, okay? Like hunched over, shoulders rounded and things like that. Well, if you've only got five foot seven of height, if you're crunching over, you're losing, you know, a few inches already, okay? So you're making yourself shorter. So just literally standing up with your chest poked out, head held high and things like that, that's straight away going to make you look taller and more dominant, okay? And if you look at some of the shorter guys that, you know, walk around like this, you see people like Tom Cruise, um, you know, Conor McGregor is a great example, how he walks with that, you know, that funny walk with his chest out and things like that. He walks around like he's 6'6", okay, because he walks with the right posture. And this is automatically going to make you feel more confident, more dominant and things like that. Now, the next thing you need to focus on is to increase your income, okay, and increase the amount that you earn. Now, a lot of people that say, oh, money's evil, like people are like you for money bullshit right money is allowing you to do the things that you want to do it's allowing you to go on holidays you want to have experiences memories and most importantly freedom okay you're able to go to the nicer restaurants you're able to network with better people you're able to you know have a classier life okay and to be honest you know money to get money it takes competence it takes hard work it takes discipline it takes persistence just like building a good body so if you can get money it shows to other people that you've got these attributes and that makes you attractive as a person. And it's also gonna make you feel confident about yourself, right? Because you're competent in that area. It helps you, you know, look after other people too. It helps you take your boys out for good food and things like that. So you probably understand that money's a good thing too. So increase your income and that's gonna be good for you too. Now, the next thing that I think is very important, and this goes for everybody, is to be polarizing. So what I mean by this is not walk around like an asshole and think you're the shit and be arrogant. Definitely not but be very strong in your values, who you are and what you believe in, okay? Because nowadays, a lot of people don't stand for anything, okay? They follow what other people do. They There's no independent thinking and things like that. And they're just not shameless in who they are, right? They, they, they'll change who they are based on, you know, the crowd and things like that. And they're just so affected by other people's opinions. Now, if you can develop your personality to a point where, you know, you're shameless about what you believe in, you have good values, you're self-expressive, okay? You can express yourself in a good way. You're self-accepting of who you are, okay? And that links to the shameless part. And you're like socially intelligent too. So you have some social skills in the way you go about this, you will become interesting. And the way that you differentiate yourself as a person, you know, isn't always about money. It's not about, you know, your body and things like that because everybody can get those to a point, right? The thing that's gonna differentiate you is your personality. So if you can develop a great personality about what you love, what you're about, express it very well and you know be good with people everyone people are really really going to like you okay and you're going to be different different from other people and i think that that's something that you can really develop and something personally that i found to work really well as you develop your personality that's how you get people to really buy into who you are now the next step is to laugh off rejection okay because as a shorter person you will get rejection okay it's it's true you know you will go up and approach a girl and they'll be like i don't like short guys and you've got two choices at this point. You can either get bitter, right, and get angry and upset, apathetic and have those negative emotions, or you can just laugh it off and crack on with the rest of your life, okay? Like, you know, if girls, you know, have said to me and rejected me because of my height, I'll just be like, oh, it's cool, I only date hobbits or something like that. Or I'll say, oh, I do all my dates sat down, it doesn't matter, right? You know, I'll just like make a joke about it and I move on and then I do better, okay? Because that person, right, was never going to be a yes anyway. You're not trying to turn no's into yeses, right? You're trying to turn yeses into yeses or maybes into yeses, okay? This goes for sales, this goes for dating and things like that. So it's cool, like it's, it's a good thing that she said that because at least you know this is the filter now to say you're not supposed to be in my life, okay? That's very important and you should never get bitter, okay? Never get bitter or angry about it. 
okay? And if you do feel those emotions, then channel them into leveling up, never, you know, being passive aggressive, reacting or anything like that. That's very, very important. Now, the next thing that you should develop as a short guy, and generally as a man, is to have firm boundaries, okay? And this kind of links with the polarizing point because when you have firm boundaries about what you accept, you're willing to say no, and you're willing to call people out when they do the wrong things and are disrespectful, that makes you a higher status already, okay? Because it shows that you're not a walkover and that you actually stand for something. So having strong boundaries is very important. And, you know, it's something that I look for in friends as well, right? Like if I see a guy with strong, firm boundaries and he doesn't tolerate bullshit from people and disrespect, like that's a guy that I respect, okay? And people respect you for that because you're principled, you don't tolerate low quality behavior and that you're somebody that has a backbone. Now, the final thing that I think uh, is important to focus on is to develop a strong presence, okay? And this is about, you know, it's not about how tall you are, it's about how you make people feel, okay? This is so, so important, all right? Have a great vibe, okay? Go out and be the highest energy five foot seven, five foot guy in the room, okay? Walk in with your chest out, smile, make eye contact. And when you speak to people, give them your full attention. Okay, give them your full attention, look them in the eye and be genuinely interested in who they are. Okay, when you do this, you ask questions and you have this presence, you kind of hold that space, right? Where you let them talk and you're just there making eye contact, being interesting. People are gonna go, that guy was charming. I liked him, he was cool. They're not even gonna remember your height. They don't care about your height because you've just made them feel a certain way. Those would be my tips for, for guys that are, you know, shorter or on the shorter end. And I think to summarize that, that the key really is to develop lots of other areas of your life. Okay, develop all these other things, have interest in hobbies, get in shape, build your income. Okay, have cool friends, right? Be polarizing, develop a strong personality. Okay, don't tolerate bullshit from people. All of these things that make you a high quality person, a guy at 6'3", if he has all these, he's gonna be very good as well, okay? But as a five foot seven guy, it's gonna make you good too, okay? This is the aspirations for all people. Height does not matter, okay? Accept what you cannot change, develop these areas, own who you are, okay? And keep growing and keep building. And you will get to the point, I guarantee, where height doesn't matter. And I'm slowly starting to realize this now from learning all these lessons that I can get whatever I want as a shorter guy. And it's not a disadvantage to be five foot seven, okay? So I hope this was useful for you guys that are, are listening. And, you know, like I said, I, I struggled with this for a long time. And only kind of, you know, like I said, in the past few years, it's, it's really developed into a thing where, you know, I don't see it as a disadvantage. So that's today's video. That's my advice for short guys. Please take action on this. I hope it was valuable. I hope it was useful. And I'll see you in the next one.